welcome to Anne Marie's Workshop. My name is Anne Marie and I love to make things with joy. If you like to make things with joy, then you have found the right place. Please like, subscribe, and share. Now this is my hashtag Friday says video, um, my weekly report card of what's going on in the workshop and what am I up to since my retirement job seems to be sewing, <laughs> which is such a delight and such a privilege. Um, but I follow the Sew Creator group that's on Facebook and Jenny Wessner, who's one of the original founders, they put out a forum topic for us to get started talking. I don't seem to need that, have that problem, but for us to start talking every week. And this week's forum topic is, we're transitioning to fall. What are you planning on sewing? Hmm. Now y'all let me preface this by saying that formally fall, is my favorite season. I love the layering, the jackets, the skirts, the boots, the boots. Um, I love uh, scar everything. I love hats. I love all of that stuff. Unfortunately, my parents retired to Jamaica West Indies <laughs> where none of that stuff applies. The most we can get up to is for me is a cover up because I live um, up in the up and high and so it gets cool at night but it's like Houston starts off freezing in the morning by noon you're in your shorts <laughs> so it's kind of not too much different from Houston it's just that oh the opportunity oh trench coats oh I could talk forever about trench coats I can't even tell you how many I've made or have but I'm not giving them up because I plan on visiting in the fall one day <laughs> So other than that, it was quite the week in the workshop. Friday night, I, you know, I have a Friday night sewing group on Zoom, um, the link to which is in my about on my channel page. Don't go there tonight. We will not be there because I am going on vacation. <laughs> I live on a resort island, y'all. I should be going on vacation. But, you know, given my da dad's health and I can't go too far. Um, last time he had a small stroke, I was gone for, what, two weeks? So I'm going to have to uh, put the kibosh on that unless I have somebody who I can um, keep in the house who's trustworthy, has medical skills and stuff, like my lovely Aunt uh, Yvonne, who's coming to visit when I go to Egypt later this year. All right. So... This week was the end of my hashtag so reversible 2023 challenge. I hope you participated. I hope you had fun. The projects were amazing. People showed out bucket hats, four sided shirts, dresses. It was amazing. I loved making some um, some content for every single day of the challenge. Hopefully you got to see something I put out on YouTube as well as on Instagram. Uh, this Sunday, I am trying a live to pull prizes uh, for this um, challenge. I'm hoping that my Wi-Fi particip um, participates. If not, I will sure notify you and let you know it was a wash supposedly to uh, Saturday, midday, the internet company is coming to give me a new router and hopefully that will solve all my um, uh, connectivity issues. But Sunday, 7 p.m. Central, that's 8 for you um, Eastern people and for people who are in Europe and stuff like that, it's near midnight, I'm sorry. But if you can just check back the next day and see if you won a prize. I'm going to ask everybody on Instagram that when you hear your name or if you can email me at annemariesworkshop at gmail.com and let me know what your mailing address is. All right, moving on. So this week, um, I think I did a blog post showing all the crazy, all the reversible items I had in my wardrobe. That's not the stuff I used to have in America. <laughs> It's just stuff I created here. That was so much fun to see. Um, even when I was packing uh, 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 to come on this trip, I realized that my um, wraparound for my bathing suit, it was reversible. I had forgotten I had made that all those years ago. Um, but uh, let's see. I also did, oh, I, I did my dress a girl. 
um, Anatomy of a Dressy Girl dress, um, which is coming out, the So Long is coming out on the 7th. So many people did uh, reversible uh, dress around, the, uh, dress, around, dress a girl around the world dresses. That was fabulous. Saw some really cute stuff. And then uh, my flower bomber. I love to make a bomber. And I made a flower bomber, and I, I hope you got a chance to see it. If not, check it on another. Uh, I did an anatomy. I did not do a sew along with that um, bomber because about six years ago, I had done a sew along with a, with a Mimi G bomber, which um, is linked in that video. So um, that was it. I did cut out quite a few things. I was really excited about this shirt. I got inspired by my friend over at Perfect Jacket. She had um, flashed this shirt as something that she had really liked. And I, I had forgotten that I had made that shirt because somebody walked off with it. I'll show you what it looks like somewhere around. <laughs> so I decided to make it again. I had remnants left. I have very few scraps left because I stuffed my um, pillow with them. It just makes it really substantial. It's a little heavy, but when you lean on it, it holds you. So I made, I had this leftover material from uh, the flower duster that I made. Um, and I'll show that over here somewhere. And I decided, and I had this black leftover from the harmonic wave, the recent one I made in linen. And so I made that again. This time I made the upper arms bigger because something I never realized before, this upper arm is plumper than this one. So when I wore the other one, it, it tugged a little where the other one was clear. And I was like, but, you know, bodies, symmetry, sometimes something's bigger than the other side. So that's what I did. Um, so I made that. And, um, oh, and the buttons I got from Timu are a perfect match for this. Don't you think? Anyway, so on vacation, while I am sitting by the pool, I'm going to sew those buttons on. <laughs> now, on, my, on our Friday night sew which is so wonderful. Um, and thank you to all of my Friday night. So contributors for inspiring me, supporting me, and just making my life a little lighter. Um, you know who you all are. <laughs> so I decided, you know, I'm in love with that mesh fabric with all those 3D flowers on it. I had gotten it in peach because I thought it would be lovely on my windows in my bedroom and I will show you a picture somewhere around here of them finished in, in the place. Now because the mesh was, it is mesh, I made a, a, a casing for the top of the curtain from this fabric that I found at Pings, y'all. You know they had it. Um, they have a whole houseware section and so I use this to kind of anchor it at the top. And when the breeze flutters through it, it's amazing. So I made that. So one of the things I cut out was this duster by Mimi G. I decided I'm gonna take the sleeves off and just make the dress. I can't remember what designer has that made in layers and different colors. My friend Donna over at Donna's. So she, um, she made one. Beautiful, beautiful. So I cut that out. It'll be a surprise because I don't have all the pieces yet. Because that's another thing when I cut things out. I may have a vision, but the fabric hasn't shown up yet. So in this case, I know what the lower band is going to be made out of. I haven't decided on the top yet. Oh no, I decided on the top. The top is going to be on Kara. The bottom is that black lace with the 3D flowers and the sandwich one in between. I haven't seen it yet. When I see it, I will know. So you might not see it for quite some while, some time because I have some closet core fabric, some core fabrics <laughs> at my daughter's house in Houston. <laughs> so I'll be bringing that home with me. So we, we haven't seen that yet. The other thing I cut out, it took hours, hours y'all. I was cutting out this Nomi pattern by uh, Kichi B Style. I cut this one out. Y'all, hours to do this thing. I think it was the concept. Concept. It was the fact that 
I was, I have a sheer overlay. So I had, to, I had to cut out the black underlay, the sheer overlay, this band here in an ultra suede with silver roses on it. And then this white uh, piece in the middle here, I had this Ralph Lauren white crepe that I got from uh, Fashion Mart, leftover scraps. So everything I had was leftover from another project. So trying to fit it on there to make it happen. Hours, hours. I think I finished cutting this Friday night before I started on those curtains. All right, and the very last thing I cut out this week, and I haven't found the base fabric yet. I'm going to look on vacation. I'm going to Ocherias. I'm going to go to the Pings, and I'm going to go to the Pablos. And I'm looking for the under level of these skater dresses. I've got the sheer overlay because I had the leftover peach. I have the leftover peach um, fabric from the drapes. And now I need an underlay fabric to put under underneath it. But I think it's gonna be really cute. So if I find that, also I am shopping for the rest of my prizes for the gold bags of danger for pings for the reversible challenge. Alrighty, let's see. I think that's it. Let me show you my mini haul that came in the mail. Now, one of the things I'm working on is the barrel bomber dress. I've made it before. I will make it again. <laughs> um, and I needed the, I am all out of the ribbing for the bomber neckline. So I took a chance and I ordered three yards from Amazon for 12 bucks. And let me tell you, I am very pleased. I am very pleased. I think it's like, oh, it's like almost 70 inches wide and three yards, and it's a nice weight for ribbing. So it'll be good for cuffs and um, shoulders and stuff. I'm in bomber heaven, y'all, bomber heaven. So that's one thing that came from Amazon, 12.98, 12.60 something, I think, for three yards. That's a steal for ribbing. And then, and you saw how wide it is. Now, let me show you my Ogden black linen cami that I upgraded with these little appliques, floral appliques from Tina. Okay, so I believe, here they are, with the three-dimensional roses. I thought those were beautiful and it turned out so lovely. Now you do, I, I did have to stitch it by hand, but that wasn't a problem. Oh, that's all it takes is a couple, a matlock or a Columbo <laughs> or a oh, criminal or one of those. So I got a couple of those um, for inspiration for other things, 79 cents. And I also got a couple more of these, um, a couple more of these rhinestone zippers. I don't know exactly how much these were. I think they're a, maybe a couple dollars. They're they're not they're not expensive, but I won't say they're less than a dollar. But the reason I bought them is because I had some of these kind of zippers before, and they come in all sorts of colors. I'll show you the blue, and I got that because I wasn't exactly sure if I was going with the blue or the black for my bomber dress or I have enough remnants left over from the bomber dress to make a bomber. So either way, both of these zippers will be um, used. Um, I had um, made an art, I had used a, um, a zipper I'd found at Hobby Lobby that had bigger rhinestones, but it's not smooth. It's not smooth. Um, these are very smooth. So I highly recommend them. Alrighty, and I think I got one more, um, one more piece. Isn't that beautiful? To put on the neckline edge of something in white, white linen, because I have a piece of white linen to make a, a kind of sheath, uh, loose fitting uh, dress, almost like a tunic. And I thought this would be a nice addition. I will find out the cost and put it in the comments. 
I think it's less than, it's probably a couple dollars. So uh, let's see, I believe that's it. All right, guys, I hope you see this on Friday. I don't know how my internet's gonna be about loading this up. Usually I start way early to get my things loaded uh, for Fridays, uh, Fridays, so videos. I hope you're doing well and enjoying the last weekend of summer and I'm going to go on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you on Sunday night on Instagram for our live pulling of prizes. All right. Thanks, everyone, for participating. I hope you had a good time. I hope you got to see things in a different way about what can be reversible. I hope you like my travel capsule of what you can do with five or six pieces over, over 20 um, outfits made from them. All right. Okay. We'll see you soon. Keep making with joy.